Hey, hello and welcome back. And today I want to show you guys how to set up two-step verification on your QNAP NAS. A number of you are worried about your passwords or your identifying information getting shared and two-step verification is a good way around that. I'm going to keep this intro real short, but in short, two-step verification is when once you log into a device such as a NAS, you'll have to utilize a phone or a portable device on your person to verify your identity. And it allows your account to be safe from people that are very far away, to be it people that know you or not, logging into your device without you knowing. So in order to do this, you're going to need to do a few things. On the QNAP NAS, on the user interface here, QTS, head up to the top right. Where you see the word admin, click the button and then scroll down to options. Where this says admin, it might be different depending on your user account, and all user accounts can have their own verification information. From there, click options. Scroll along, and you'll find the option two-step verification. And from there, go to the bottom and click get started. Now, on your mobile phone device, uh, be it an iPhone, uh, an Android phone, or even tablet devices, there are many authenticator apps out there. I, of course, am going to recommend Google's own authenticator app. It's one of the ones that most people use. And in order to get it, you can go ahead, head over to the App Center on your mobile device, in this case, Google Play, find the Google Authenticator app and install it. It's completely for free, really straightforward, and even setting it up is a simple two-click operation. Once you've done that, head back into the application when it's open, and you can see here on screen, I've already verified a few things on this Google Authenticator. So what I can do from here is go to the bottom right and click that plus symbol. From there, I then scan a QR code. Move your phone to on screen where the barcode is on your QNAP NAS desktop user interface. As you can see on the mobile app now, this NAS has now been added at the bottom of that list and a new authenticator code has been presented. This will change every 30 seconds, so if it doesn't work first time, there's a good chance it's altered. On your QNAP user interface, go ahead and click Next. And then on the next screen, add the number that's appeared next to your authenticator. As you can see there, I've done that, and then click Verify. You can now see that the verification has been approved by the QNAP and the Google Authenticator app and the NAS are on the same page. Go ahead and click next. From here, it will ask you to provide a security question answer and then an additional email account, if you choose, to re-access your NAS in the event of the authenticator app failing, you losing your phone and more. And there you go. The login information has changed and it will log us out and log us back in shortly. Over on my mobile phone, I can go ahead and get ready to use the authenticator app a second time. I'm going to go in, log into this NAS as we did before. But this time when I click log in, it will ask for the verification code, which on my screen is 985948. Hopefully I won't miss that window. Click log in and boom, we're into our QNAP NAS. As you see, this is two-step verification and a new update just in time for QTS. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did and do click subscribe if you want to learn more about NAS and click like if you have enjoyed the video so I know to make more on this. I'm gonna be really concentrating on NAS security for the next few weeks. So if you've got recommendations for things you wanna see, do let me know. But otherwise, I will see you next time.